Want to get better at Marvel Snap? This is probably the best tool that you will be able to find out there to get yourself better. Better decks, better cubes, understanding how to improve based on how you play. All right, let's get into it. Everybody, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be talking about uh, Marvel Snap.pro Tracker. Uh, if you're looking to keep track of a bunch of stuff in game, we did some deep dives on this site, some different things in a different video. I'll link that above. Also covered on tap GG, et cetera. But on this video, I specifically want to talk about this tracker. First question you're probably going to have is, what does this do? Uh, hi, well, one, it says it over there. So you can go ahead and read it. Or I'll say it real quick, the tracking of how you're progressing in game and the decks you're using, your win-loss percentages, cube gains, stuff like that. If you are the type and you're, if you're playing this game, you likely are, who wants to know how you're progressing or which one, which ones of your decks are doing better based on how you are playing, because a lot of these other videos that I've done and all, all, all kinds of other people have done, there's a lot of trackers and decks out there that you can see that show what everyone else does, but you might play differently. But this helps you understand exactly how you're doing with what you've got set up. I have not used this yet. I've seen it. So I'm going to go through the process here of actually downloading it and showing you a couple things along the way. The nice thing about this is they have a step-by-step -step guide here. I've gone through a part of this so far, and I'm going to jump to a point here that you might get hung up on just in case. The first part is getting the latest release from GitHub. Now, when you click this, you will get a pop-up. Okay, so here I am. Right now, what do I do? Like there's some there's some assets down here you can click. There's like this is highlighted. I could click this. You're clearly at the spot that you need to be, but you need to make sure you click what you actually need. Now, this specific sentence, your step number two tells you launch the file ending in setup.exe and make sure your Windows antivirus stuff is not blocking it. I did get a little worried and I will say right here and now, I do not endorse support, anything like that. I don't know what this will do to your computer. So do everything at your own risk, okay? Uh, make sure you have the proper stuff on your computer. If you're not comfortable with it, don't mess with it. When I click this green part, this takes me to the same thing here. So nothing special. So how do I download everything? You just go through here and click each individual one and then it'll come through. You need them all? I don't know, maybe, but I'm clicking all each one of them. Like it said, it will then be in your downloads folder. It said to double click this and run the setup. You can see that I then got my protect, my antivirus protection from PC, whatever that might be. And you can specifically see mine tells me it might put my PC at risk. Again, you decide what you want to do with this. Shows the app, shows the publisher. Coming for you, Libov. This does anything. And then you, if you want, click run anyway. Now I got this new pop-up. This one here that I'm moving around the screen. A Marvel Snap Tracker. So it says launch this tracker. Make sure it finds your Snap account. If everything goes good, you can sync it. So it looks like it's got a Wolverthor on there. Sync account. I'm assuming this is me. Okay, it says it's all set. One of the first things I do when I come in here, highlight over my profile, I click my decks. Okay, so I come down here and sure enough, it shows my decks. Nice thing here, it shows some of the cards that I've got in there, average cost, average power, if you want to analyze that. I think that's fantastic. I love seeing that. Now I was waiting a little bit because no and nothing was showing up and I was in my profile and I was going, why isn't this showing anything? I was looking at profile, all these things. And it just said snapper, it didn't have anything on here. And then finally it, it filled me in. Now I actually know what I've been snapping since. I started January 12th. So we're almost at one month when we're shooting this video. Now the stuff that I'm interested in is seeing some progress. Where am I at here? Collection level 744, rank 69. And then I want to see by pools, where are my cards at? All right. So I've got, you know, I'm basically hundred percent done with all these early stuff, which I know, and I'm 16 cards into pool three. So I'm about 20% done. I've got two of pool five because I bought Modoc and I bought Zabu. Now I just like looking at this going, okay, where's my rarity? I got a bunch of these. So you can see I'm, I keep a lot of uncommon. I got some rare, I got some epics. I bring a few up. I have no idea how the ranking works exactly. So I played 285 games. That's fun. Uh, 69 rank. Uh, and this is all, I'm literally looking at this at the first time with you exactly. Collection level progress. You can see here, I was just coming along, coming along, coming along. And then, hey, what is this? I jump up drastically in one day. That's my 10,000 uh, credit opening video. Makes sense for why it's like that. Now the matches. This, I'm curious to see how this sort of fills in. Right now it doesn't show any information. Uh, again, this is just showing for today. I, it might be based on the fact that I just got this. So how will it be in the future? So I tried to backset it and it says I wasn't registered. So now 
now that I have it, it will register. So that's the thing that I'm really excited about seeing going forward is that I will now be able to track those matches. But for the time being, I don't know. So I'll come over here. I will see from whatever day I will look at whatever deck is going to be in there. Uh, whatever. I mean, I guess I could filter each one of these. I could say at different locations and I will track it. This, this thing right here is what I really wanted to show you guys. Uh, and share with you is like if you're really trying to figure out what you're doing to get better in game or what decks this is a great way to do it and then whenever i'm wondering what i might have or not have real quickly i can come over here you know some of the videos i've been shooting i've gone through i don't have that one i don't want this is a quicker way to just look in here and see you know it just shows all you know all, i do wish it kind of highlighted it a little bit better maybe you know green i guess it, it would be green if it was common you can see own uncommon here I wish the uh, the gray was actually the, the color that would change, but hey, what are you gonna do? So I can come through here and quickly look and see what I have or don't have. So I do, again, another great tool if you're just trying to figure out where you're at. They've got a social setting if you've got anything to follow along, which by the way, those are in the description below. If you wanna check them out, feel free to follow along. And I will say this thing updates insane real time. So I wanted to test it out. I just, I literally just finished seconds ago and it shows the first one. So this this is really I, I i am gonna really enjoy this so i'm just finishing a game here i'm about to lose all right so let's see how quick uh, it goes up so i lost eight cubes there because i thought i had it one let's see i have not clicked collect yet not updating but i just clicked collect i'm clicking next let's see how long does it take fresh all right well there you go i i mean i could have refreshed it i guess maybe a little sooner but pretty sweet. I love it right now. I think it's really awesome. Uh, I'm going to try one different deck to see if it will let me, you know, filter by that. You can see that's that particular deck. I'm going to change it one time so I can see that. Victory. Okay, I just finished. I won. I'm going to refresh before I click anything. Let's change it to all decks. Nothing showing up yet. Fresh nothing all right let me click collect see if it comes then fresh nothing all right how about next we're gonna get a feel for how quick this is fresh again fresh again i'm trying to get it i i used a different deck so i'm trying to get it to see how long it gets to that i clicked i clicked progress then back the matches there we go. Oh, there we go. All right. So my troll jack. <laughs> I played that one. I think it was against, it might have been a bot. They, the last play didn't make any sense. So either way, this is kind of a fun, look at this. You can even click a replay here if you're wondering about how things went, right? So if you're like, how did that play out? Pretty cool, right? Turn two. Turn three. Look at that. Turn four. Pretty fun, awesome tracker here. So I'm a big fan. This juggernaut swiped that over there. I thought I was all smart dropping it on Shuri's lab, but nope. And then for some reason they shang chi that. But anyway, good times. Love the tracker. I'm definitely planning on using this to figure out some of my cards, decks, all that sort of thing. So hopefully you find this helpful. Not sponsored video or anything like that. Again, use it at your own risk. I uh, appreciate you guys stopping by. If this video has been helpful at all, consider hammering around like button, etc. Maybe share with your aunts and uncles and nieces and nephews. Appreciate it. All right. So next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.